Does your saxophone playing sound anything like this? Or maybe it sounds a little bit more like this. Either way, these are both problems with the way you're putting air through the saxophone. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of how to sound a little bit more like this. That first problem is called underblowing. It really just means that you're not putting enough air through the saxophone. It's really common for beginners and self-taught people to have this issue. The easiest way to solve this is to practice playing long sustained notes at the beginning of every practice session. Another way you can fix this is to change the combination of your mouthpiece and your reed. Using a softer reed on your mouthpiece allows you to get a full sound while using less air. So if you have an underblowing problem, using a softer reed might be a place to start. It's also possible that you're playing a mouthpiece that's just too wide of a tip opening for you. So if you're playing a size 8 and you have a really hard time filling up the saxophone with air, it's possible that a size 7 is just better for you. But there's another situation that's even more common. If you're at home, you might be playing quieter just because you don't want to annoy people. And in that case, you might be creating a bad habit of underblowing that could really hurt your development as a saxophone player. What I would do to solve that is to mute my saxophone. The sax mute one is a great way to do that. I use it at every practice session. It's a simple tool to use. You just put your saxophone in and start playing, but it will really help you to not develop a bad habit of underblowing when you're playing the saxophone. There's a code to get 10% off of the sax mute one in the description of this video. So check that out if you're interested. Now the opposite is what you really wanna be doing if you have a problem with overblowing on the saxophone. If you're putting too much air through the sax, you should be using a harder reed or you should be using a mouthpiece with a wider tip opening. Now the reason we don't wanna overblow on the saxophone all the time is because as musicians, we need to give people something worthwhile every time we play. If we're hurting their ears, we're really doing the opposite of that. So we need to be really careful. A great way to tell if you're overblowing on the saxophone is to check with yourself. If you're feeling stressed or if you're straining while you're playing, your audience is gonna pick up on that. There really is a sweet spot when it comes to sounding good on the saxophone and your saxophone mouthpiece helps you get there. So I made a video all about saxophone mouthpieces to help you understand a little bit more about how they make a difference. You can click on it right over there. Thanks, see you next time.